Hey, who doesn't want to sell four insurance products at once, right? You're thinking, dude, I'm selling one policy. Why don't I just sell four right now and get paid a bunch of more extra money? You know, well, that's, that's, that's one way to do it. Okay. So on this video, we're going to talk through why you would want to sell four products, the numbers behind it, a money bag approach and how to present it with some line items. Okay. How to actually present four products, right? How to ask for it, how to engage, how to present it, how to talk through it, the actual way to sell it. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of a disclaimer out there that if you're brand new to the industry, you need to, you still need to have a niche and you need to get extremely good at selling that niche. Now, while you're there, could you do some additional fact finding to sell four products at once? Yes. However, I want to put this out there that my first year when I made $117,000 in eight months, I did not talk about a lot of different other products. Okay. I simply, as I grab my marker, I simply talked through how to close a lot of life insurance and how to have high activity and how to get out and do it and, and, and consistently perform every week where I wasn't doing a lot of additional product cross selling. I have since then, but I want to put that disclaimer. If you're brand new, you need to get great at selling something every week before you complicate the freak out of this. Number one thing that holds insurance agents back from being successful in at this or anything else is that they want to know everything before they do anything. And I'm telling you, you don't have to know everything to be successful. But a lot of agents think that or, 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 they, or they feel that. And I'm telling you, that's one thing that holds a lot of people back. Okay. I did a recent video on six mistakes. That's one of them. Okay. So, so why, so why would you want, why would you want to sell four different products? Well, maybe, maybe the client needs it, right? Um, maybe you get a bonus if you do it, right? Maybe there's extra money or commission in it for, for you. Maybe it, it literally, the opportunity presents itself. And you don't know how to, you know, how to handle it. Maybe you're selling Medicare and it's, and it's like easy and it's common practice to, to add on, you know, final expense, um, maybe a hot, maybe a hospital indemnity plan, um, maybe a cancer policy, right? Several other things. And we'll talk through some of that as we go. Okay. So, so that's really, that's really why if, if you're out there and you're like, dude, why would I want to do that? Well, yeah, I mean, why would you not? Right. Okay. So, uh, let's look at the actual numbers behind this thing though. Okay, so if, 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 we, if we look through, and let's just say that hypothetically, hypothetically, you're selling, I'm going to keep this pretty simple. Let's just say that you sell, um, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it basic too. I'm not even going to talk about like big long-term care policies or annuities or anything else, which could be possible by the way. Let's just say that you sell a um, Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan, okay, Medicare Advantage, and then you're fact finding and, and you add on a hospital indemnity plan. And let's say you end up adding on a cancer plan. And then let's say that you end up adding on a final expense policy. Okay. Final expense life insurance policy. Okay. And you're like, well, it's brand new. Maybe they're turning 65 and maybe, and, and let's just say that you get, you know, 550 bucks from this. Um, let's just say that you get another $200 from this another $200 from this. Again, I'm just making it up. Okay. I'm not saying that any, any of these numbers are going to be absolutely exact down to the penny. Okay. So you can roast me in comments if you want. And then, and then for final expense, let's just say that, you know, so let's just say it's a typical final expense policy. And let's just say that you earn another $500 for selling final expense. Again, I'm making it up. Okay. I'm keeping it very basic. I'm not getting the specifics of comp levels and carriers and commission rates and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So 550, 750, 950, literally $1,450 from this specific one client, by the way. And, and if, if it's a husband and wife, you may walk out of there with 3000 bucks, $2,900 from the same one house. That, that's also, that's one house, one client, one house, one lead, etc. But what happened is from a number standpoint is you just took $550 that you would have normally made from that sale and you just tripled it and walked out of there with $1,450. Okay. So that's the numbers behind why you would want to do something like this and why a lot of successful agents, especially in the Medicare space per se, would tend to do something like this. Okay. So now for those that haven't seen my money bag presentation and it can be customized to, 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 for, for different types of policies that you're selling. 
so that you can tweak it a little bit, but an actual money bag presentation. And what this means is, when I'm doing it from, from, a, from a presentation standpoint, is there's four areas that can, that, that can remove money from a money bag when a client goes through retirement. There's four specific concerns, major concerns of retirees to, that, 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 that can pretty much put holes in their money bag and start alleviate and, and before you know it, they don't have any money left, right? That's a big concern. The first one is typically health related, right? You're there talking to them about their Medicare and I'm not gonna go into super big depth because I'm gonna get to how to present this in a second, by the way, too. But let's just say that you actually, from a, from a health insurance standpoint, um, you're there talking to them about their health. I'm going to ask questions and slow down in each area, okay, and do some additional fact finding and see if it's okay if, if, if I put something together to see, to, to see if I can put them in a better situation if they already have it or to see if we can uh, cover that area if they don't, okay? So that's one area. The next one is, you know, legacy um, and, 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 and final expenses, okay? The third one, third one is um, nursing care. Okay, whether it's nursing home, assisted living, uh, home health care, right? You would talk to them about, here you'd talk to them about life insurance. Here you'd talk to them about long-term care and protecting that. About 70% of seniors over the age of 65 will need long-term care at some point in the future. That's a heavy statistic and it's very, very, very expensive. And there's nursing homes that'll cost six, eight, 10 grand a month right now. It's, it's just freaking insane. Um, more than a lot of in, 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 you know, agents make. Uh, and then the, the, the last one has to do with income. You know, we're worried about our income lasting our entire life. What type of retirement funds or accounts do you have to make sure that you are continuing to get a check or that you've got funds available should you need that in the future, right? So that's a great way to actually fact find for annuities, by the way. Great way to fact find for annuities. So we use this, we use this to, 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 as a fact finding tool as a fact finding tool, just to learn more about these different things. Okay, so when it comes to selling four products, that's a great way to find what type of products you should be pitching or selling is simply by doing this money, what I call the money back presentation. I had a manager that taught me this long time ago and I'll give, I'll give him credit for it. Okay, thank you, Sean. Okay, so let's look at some line items now. So if I was gonna present this, right, if, if you guys, I don't know if you've seen my five benefits, nine trial closes, pre-close. Like when I'm presenting a, a policy, I go through this whole presentation. It's in our cell system. If you're not a part of our CA cell system, you can go to CodyAskins.com and check out our cell system. Five benefits, nine trial closes, a pre-close, and then I'll normally present three options, okay? This is how I would actually go through closing uh, one policy, okay, typically. So I'm gonna add some engagement, but what I would do is, let's just say that I was selling that Medicare Advantage plan um, and that, uh, hosp I think it was a hospital indemnity plan and a cancer plan and a final expense policy. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this line by line and I'm gonna let them know that, that John, these are the four things that all of our clients want to have in place because they can absolutely affect you if you don't. Okay, so we talked about the Medicare Advantage, but that's what, was, that's what I was here to make sure we got in place today. So obviously we're gonna make sure we get that in place. It's a zero dollar plan, which is great, which also frees up some other, some frees up some funds and some monthly money to take care of these other massive gaps and holes when it comes to your health insurance and even covering your burial and final expenses later in life. So you're helping your family. Okay, the hospital indemnity plan is, $21 a month, the cancer plan is, is, is $26 a month, and the final expense is, uh, let's just call it uh, $59 a month. Okay, so we're at 41, uh, we're at 47 and 59, so let's just call it, um, what are we at, 106, I believe, 106, okay, not bad. Decent math, okay, so we're at $106. So the way I would present that is I would go through line by line each and every one, and I would let them know that to, to cover all four of these areas, it's only $106 per month. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm able to help you qualify for each and every one of these, okay? And I'll make sure that we bundle this and present this so that you have all four of these available to you and that when you need access to one of these in the future, right? Because 100% of people die, over 70% of people end up needing, you know, end up having cancer. Um, if you ever go to the hospital, 
Yeah, that'll save you the 200 and something dollars a day you have to pay when you go into a hospital because the Medicare Advantage plan doesn't cover the first you know, seven days in hospital, et cetera. Okay, again, I'm using basic terms. This changes by state, by plan, et cetera. Okay, and I'm gonna let them know, I'm gonna start with this plan and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you qualified for all four. Okay, so this is what I recommend. This is what most of my clients do. And this is exactly what you should be doing to protect those areas. Okay, sound good to you, Mr. Bill? Right? That's the way that you can present four products at once. Hey, you're watching this, you're learning how to present all these different products and you're thinking, dude, I want to be successful. If you want to be successful, there's one thing you got to do. It's this. It's right there. Click on it and you'll learn all about it. You're an agent. You're like, man, I want to, dude, I want to be successful. Then do what I'm about to tell you and I guarantee you, you will be. Okay.